Namashivai students, today I will going to start our new topic from chapter 9, Mechanical Properties of Solid and this is part 50. So my today's topic is, uh, is Hooke's Law. So previously we have learned what is trace, what is strain. So now uh, we will going to learn what is Hooke's Law. So from the experimental investigation Robert Hooke, an English physicist in uh, 1679 formulated a law and this law is called Hooke's law. The law states that the, ex um, the extension produced in the bed is directly proportional to the load applied within the definite limit of elasticity. So extension which is proportional to load applied. So it was found that this law is applicable to all these um, all types of deformations such as compression, bending, twisting etc. And thus a modified form of Hooke's law was given by, uh, given as uh, within elastic limit, the stress which is developed in directly proportional with the strain. So stress is directly proportional with the strain. So stress equals to E into strain or E equals to stress by strain. So E is the constant which is known as modulus of elasticity of the material of a body. Stress and strain curve. So when a wear is stretched by a load like this one, obviously a uh, load is M into G. It is seen that the small uh, the small uh, value of load which is extension produced in the wear is proportional to the load. So here this one is strain and this one is stress. So this is the elastic limit or in point. So this is the um, this is another point and this is the plastic deformation which is proportional uh, proportional limit plastic behavior and this is called elastic behavior. This is the plastic behavior and this is elastic behavior. This one is the permanent set this uh, so we know that according to the law stress is proportional to strain so this is the graph so here in this drawing we can say that v is uh, strain graph uh, and the stress is found the proportional with the strain up to the point a so hook law is uh, hook's law is uh, completely or fully obeyed in this region so a is known as the uh, point of proportional proportional limit so this one Next, when stretch is increased beyond A, so for uh, for sm uh, small small stress, there is a large strain in the wear up to the point B. So when the load is gradually removed between the point O to B, the wear return to its original length. Means that part is returned to its original length. So here the wear regain its original dimensions only uh, only uh, when load applied to less than or equal to the certain limit so this is this limit is called the elastic limit and b on stress uh, this is the point which is called point b this one so it is called the elastic limit or yield point this is also an important point it means important definition if the stress or load is increased beyond b the strain further increases and the increase of the strain represented by bc bar of the curve sorry so this one the BC part of the car. Now, um, if the load is removed with wear, does not re, uh, re, uh, that one re, regain its original length. So, but the increase of length, this is the wear, uh, increase of length of the wear is permanent. So, the permanent strain equal to, this is the permanent strain, O to O dash, this one is the permanent strain or permanent set. So, here, uh, here the stress is zero. The permanent strain in the wear is known as permanent set. As the stress beyond C is increased, there is large strain in the wear. So the large increase in the strain for small stress is represented by C D bar of the curve and the wear breaks at point D uh, which is also known as fracture point. So this one is D. The material of the uh, wear which is uh, point uh, from point C to point D show the plastic behavior and this is called plastic deformation and the stress that needed to cause the actual um, actual uh, part means of the material is known as the breaking state stress, stress and or uh, we can say that ultimate strength is strain so this part this is the this is the elastic point and this the total part this is called fracture point and this is the plastic deformation this is the proportionality this is the elastic behavior and this is the permanent state 
next uh, topic is ductile material what is ductile material the material which have large plastic uh, range of extension uh, is called the ductile material so uh, in in this curve uh, stress and strain curve it is point to be separated from the elastic limit so here this is the point so such material undergoes an irreversible increase in length before snapping so this is the point and this is the elastic limit and they can drawn into thin wear copper silver iron aluminium etc these are the different part next is brittle material so the material which have very small range of plastic extension this is called brittle material such materials break, uh, break as soon as the stress is increased beyond the elastic limit so this is the elastic limit the breaking point lies just close to the elastic limit this is the this is very close to the elastic limit as shown in the figure and this is uh, and the feature uh, and this is the figure for the cast iron glass ceramics etc next malleability what is malleability when a solid is compressed a stage a stage is uh, reached beyond which is, uh, it cannot regain its original shape after the deforming forces remove so this one this is called elastic limit at a point for compression so this is the elastic limit which is the which is the point of compression the solid that behaves like a plastic body for this uh, solid always behave like a plastic body the yield point obtained under compression is called the causing uh, uh, sorry crushing point and after the stage uh, the metal can say that malleable so in this stage the metal can say that malleable and they can be hammered or rolled into thin sheets like gold silver lead etc so this is called malleability and this is called malleable metal next elastomers so what is that metal the material which have the elasticity stretch to large strain large value of strain this is called elastomers so rubber can be stretched in several times of original path but still it can regain its original length when its applied force is removed so this is when the rubber the rubber can be stretched for a several times its original length but it still can regain the or its original length when the applied force always removed so rubber just break of uh, when uh, pulled beyond a certain limit and elastic region in such case is very large but the material does not obey hooke's law so the elastic tissue or um, so of arota that large cell large uh, blood vessels uh, carrying blood from the heart so this is the elastic tissue so for which uh, for which the stress and strain this is the car this this one is shown in the car so this is all about different types of materials and also malleability and obviously very very important point hooke's law so uh, mm, this is all about my today's topic so tomorrow i will going to start another topic from this chapter and also derivation so thank you student for watching this video